Hey guys, welcome back to Our Main Homestead. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to go to this link here and hit the subscribe button on our page. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our milking process for our sheep. So tomorrow is gonna be a big day for us. Tonight we are going to be separating the lambs from the ewes in the barn so that overnight the lambs do not have access to mom and her milk. Um, they will be perfectly fine, I promise. They get to enjoy mom's milk all day long along with hay and other forage. So overnight separating them, they will be perfectly fine without milk sources. Um, and then in the morning, first thing, bright and early, I'll be getting out there to show you our milking process. So we have four ewes right now that I will be milking. Our ewes are Katahdins, and so if you don't know much about dairy sheep, there are several breeds that are high dairy producers. Katahdins are not one of the high dairy producers. They are more like dual purpose, a little bit more meat purpose, I would suppose. Um, but I do get enough milk out of them to supply our family with some fresh sheep's milk. So it is something that I do like to do. We use their milk for coffee creamer, for making yogurt. Um, sheep's milk is actually really, really great for making cheese. So if you're, that's one thing that we do wanna dabble with this year, but if you are into making your own homemade cheese, sheep's milk is very, very high in fat, uh, solids and proteins and so it's really really great source for making cheese. First I want to take you guys inside to show you a simple udder wash that I will be making to use on each use udders before milking so that I get a good um, quality milk supply and then um, I will use it again after I'm done with the milking process to try and decrease um, the risk of introducing any bacteria or infection to the udders causing mastitis or yucky things like that. So let's head inside and go ahead and whip up some uh, udder wash. Eddie and I are off to go separate the lambs for the first time. This may be a circus or it may go very, very smoothly. enough that was really good for our first attempt at getting them situated and yeah so I'll go back out there later on to check on the babies make sure nobody's escaped uh, make sure everything is still intact and make sure they're not getting to those ewes and stealing all of my milk <laughs> okay day one of milking and I've got my bag of supplies here that just has a couple of empty quart jars to collect milk into, my quart jar of udder wash, and then some paper towels so that I can clean the udders. The sheep are definitely ready to reunite with their babies, so let's go milk mamas and get started. <laughs>
can see, day one was a success, which is very surprising because we only had one ewe that truly was kind of used to the milk stand um, and would just get up there freely. The other ones I did have to wrangle a bit and get them up there, but hopefully as the days go by and we do this more and more, they're going to get used to it and be just as great about getting up there on their own um, to be milked. So probably got about 10 ounces or so today, um, so not a lot but no. I wasn't super worried about getting them completely empty just because they do have the lambs there that are going to be uh, nursing straight away as you can see. Now what I'm going to do with the milk is go ahead and run it through um, a strainer and a filter just so that I can filter out any hairs or any debris that got um, into the jar that I collected the milk in and um, then I will start using it. So I'm actually gonna put it in my coffee this morning and the rest of it will just go into the refrigerator to cool and um, like I said as the week goes on hopefully the ewes will all get very used to the milk stand getting up there freely and um, I'll take you guys along and show you over the next few days how we've progressed. with us while we start uh, getting back into the swing of things with milking the sheep again on a regular basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell in order to get notifications when we post new videos, and as always, leave us a thumbs up and a comment. We really appreciate all of them. Cheers! Mm.